back to another edition of KLHS. I'm Derek Carr. And I'm Dane Larison. Happy Monday, Jace. Today, Brett Schweitzer will be at the green screen throughout the show to give you this week's weather report. But first, here's a sneak peek of the forecast. Well, thanks, guys. Later on in the show, I'll be right back here with this week's forecast. The temperature today looks like it's going to be a lot nicer than it was this morning. There will be a more in-depth report when I come back. For now, let's head back to the front desk. Thanks, Brett. We'll have Craig Straws at the athletic desk today to give you the inside scoop on Blue Jay Athletics. All that and so much more coming up next. This is KLHS. The LHS Chamber Orchestra will be performing on television from the Kauffman Center for the Performing Arts for K KSHB-TV's Sound of the Season. Make sure to tune in on December 25th or the 26th for an unforgettable performance of Oh Holy Night and the Nutcracker. Air times are on Channel 41, 4 to 6 a.m. and 10 a.m. on December 25th and on Channel 38 from 7 to 9 a.m. also on December 25th and again on December 26th. Delicious treats in spirit of the holidays, the Practical Leadership class is hosting their annual Otis Spunkmeyer cookie sale this week, December 7th through 11th during lunch. One cookie costs $1.25 and $2 cut. Two cookies cost $2. The cookies come in a variety of flavors including M&M, triple chocolate chunk, and of course chocolate chip. The sale will be located near the concession stand by the Little Theater. Join us for the November-December Design Challenge. Repurpose a plastic milk jug into something new. The options are limitless. Be creative and milk it. Visit the LMC website for more details. The final day to order your book is January 22nd, and no orders will be taken after this date. Extra books will be sold on the first-come, first-served basis for $75 on May 13th during your book distribution day, or you can purchase them online. If you have any more questions, please go to kjohnson at liberty.k12.mo.us. Attention seniors, fill out the senior yearbook questionnaire that has been emailed to you by this Friday, December 11th, and you'll be featured in the 2016 yearbook. This is your chance to tell us what you're, you've been involved in throughout high school and your plans after high school, and not and to nominate candidates for the senior spotlight. Winter is fast approaching. Take time now to get into this holiday spirit and participate in this week's Holiday Spirit Week presented by Practical Leadership Classes, December 7th through the 11th. Monday is PJ Day. Tuesday, wear your favorite holiday gear. Wednesday, wear all red and white. Thursday, dress nice for Santa. And Friday is Ugly Sweater Day. Congratulations to the following achievements at the Missouri All-State Band and Jazz auditions this past Saturday. Caitlin Ritter, 11th Chair, All-State Band Honorable Mission on the Flute. Benjamin Tervert, All-State Jazz Band Honorable Mission on Bass. Zachary Garland Foster, second alto saxophone All-State Jazz Band. Zachary also earned the second tenor saxophone chair in the All-State Jazz Band and was also named the baritone saxophone alternate in the All-State Jazz Band. He chose the second alto saxophone chair. Zachary will perform with Missouri All-State Jazz Band at 2.30 p.m. on Saturday, January 30th at the Tentara Resort. The conductor for the group is John Clayton, base it with the Clayton Hampton Orchestra. Congratulations to all LHS orchestras who auditioned for the Allstate Orchestra. You represented us with pride. Let us specifically congratulate Cecilia Cook Viola, who will be performing with the MMEA Allstate Orchestra at our music convention in January. Additional kudos go to Zoe Moody, second alternate viola, and Bryce Lindemann, first alternate cello. This is a, this is a high honor and we are extremely proud of you. The conductor of the 2016 Allstate Orchestra will be Douglas Borsti from Ball State University. The program for this year will include Brahms Academic Festival Overture, Copland 4 Dance Episodes, and Marquez Danzon Number no. 2. There will be no gym class, gym access for students during Liberty Hour tomorrow, Tuesday, December 8th. Please plan accordingly. And now we send it over to Brett with the weather. Brett? Thanks, guys. Well, as you can see, today is very foggy, but should clear up. We'll have a high of 61 and a low of 39. Tomorrow there will be a high of 59 and a low of 48. Jumping to Friday, there will be a high of 64 and a low of 46. That's all I have for you guys today. Have a great Monday. Thanks, Brett. And now, speaking of cold weather, we send it to Craig with sports. Craig? 
What's up, guys? Last Friday night, the men's basketball team took on the Fort Osage Indians and came out on top 82-53 to for their first contest of the season. Congrats, boys. As many of you know, the varsity cheer won state again this year for the seventh year in a row. Reporters Marissa Baker, Tasia Dotson, Nicole Wood, and Lindsay Zoss bring us more. They've done it again. Our own Liberty Varsity cheerleaders are state champs for the seventh time in a row. Now we get the inside scoop on what it's like to be a seven-time state champ from head coach Brenda Motes and assistant coach Daisy King. It's an exciting feeling. It was so much fun to be at state with the girls and having them announce our name as first place. It's so nerve-wracking. Even for the seventh time, it feels just like it did the first time that we won. It's a whole different team, so winning for the seventh time is just as exciting of an experience all over again. The seventh time is just as amazing as the first time. Um, it's so much hard work and so much dedication goes into this, but when they call your name, all of that just goes out the window and you're just so excited. Although there's six teams that have also won the state title, it's just something that sets this year's team apart. Um, what sets this team apart from the teams in the past are the leadership that we have from our 12 seniors. They've been such a dynamic group and they've done a great job this summer. We did a lot of different things this summer with a private camp and brought in some different um, training tools. So I'm proud of the seniors for stepping forward. It's a brand new team, a whole new dynamic is set and their leadership has proven to be successful. This team is just amazing. There's so much talent. Every year we've had a lot of talent, but it's just improved every year. And the girls that have been on the team for a long time, uh, the seniors, juniors, they're not complacent. They work hard and they try to improve their skills so that the talent level that we have, just it just keeps growing. Reporting for KLHS, this has been Marissa Baker, Taser Dotson, Nicole Wood, and Lindsay Zaz. Congratulations, ladies. That's all I have for you today, and I'm back to the front desk. That's all we have for today, and we'll be right back here tomorrow with more. From Derek Carr, Brett Schweitzer, Craig Strauss, and all of our production crew, I'm Dan Larison. Have a great day, Chase.